This is a story about opportunities, how young people are getting financial assistance to make a living eventually and to make a difference in places like 2212 Pressman Street. The Carver House, for now it's nothing more than an empty shell, but will soon become a learning lab for Carver Votech students. Their students who are picking up skills across the street in the school system's CTE, or Career Technology Education Program. ADT Security Services donated $100,000 to buy construction materials for the Carver Project. It means a lot because it shows us how to like actually do it more. Because in here it shows us how to do it, but like when you're in the, like a real house or something, it, it's like it's going to be more obstacles and stuff like that you got to go through. Students seem anxious to put their hands to work and gain experience. I absolutely love the idea because that means that I have something that I can actually work on. I can look at it and I can go, hey, I made that with my own hands. Like, that's amazing to me. In addition to the $100,000 ADT donation, the company has set aside another $30,000 to install security and solar equipment. Passion around an idea and the right person behind the idea is really what gets things done. Uh, you both have done that. Uh, the folks that we've gathered in the room are going to help you do that. The mayor, a high school career technology education graduate, praised the Carver Project as one with the purpose. It also gives young people strong jobs and careers, a chance to grow, achieve financial mobility, and thrive not for just them, but their, their families for the junior generations to come. Students will begin to work on this project in a couple of weeks. The goal is to have it completed in a year's time. In West Baltimore, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News.